Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the year 2017, LNT had won rupees 4500 crore contract to supply 100 units of K9 Vajra under Make in India initiative for which it has signed a transfer of technology contract with South Korean company Hanwha Defense. According to LNT, K9 Vajras were delivered with more than 80% indigenous work packages and over 50% indigenization by value at program level. On 18th February 2021, LNT had successfully completed the delivery of last and 100th K9 Vajra ahead of the delivery schedule. At present, Indian Army has 5 regiments of K9 Vajra with 20 guns constituting a regiment, 18 in action and 2 in reserve. As per Lieutenant General P. Ravi Shankar, former Director General of Artillery, if you don't have at least 10 more regiments of self-propelled artillery, you will fall short all over the border. Considering the tense situation across the borders of India with China and Pakistan, India needs more artillery guns. The production line by LNT for Kenai Vajra has been sitting idle for months as there are no follow-on orders. Even though designed for desert, these guns have performed exceedingly well in high altitude. Impressed with its performance, a full regiment of these howitzers were deployed in eastern Ladakh and an army need more of these guns for its northern, western and central command. Now, as per reports, Indian Army has planned to eventually have 300 of these guns. The next 200 guns, which will worth around Rs 9,600 crore, will be procured in two batches with each batch consisting of 100 guns. Now, recently, Jayant Patil, the member of Executive Committee of LNT, has recently reported to Economic Times that the firm is expecting the repeat order of Kenan Vajra this financial year that is by March 2023. The request for proposal will be issued to LNT after which the cost negotiations will be carried out. The new K9 Vajras will feature a modified and upgraded engine for ease of operation at high altitude and cold desert condition. Army has already procured the winterization kit for the existing K9 Vajras so that the Hovitzer work in sub-zero temperature. The next batch of Vajras will come with winterization kits from the day one. The K9 Vajra is a self-propelled 155 mm Hovitzer based on South Korean K9 Thunder especially designed for operation in the semi-desert area. The K9 Vajra weighs around 47 to 50 ton with a maximum speed of 67 km per hour. Its maximum firing range varies from 18 to 54 km depending upon the type of ammunition used. It can also fire the X-caliber rounds. The projectiles are loaded into the ammunition tray by an automatic loading system and are ready to fire. The K9 has a stowage of 48 155mm projectiles. K9 uses a digital fire control system by which it can fire multiple rounds that can impact a given area at the same time. In burst mode, it can fire 3 rounds in 15 seconds with a maximum rate of fire of 6 to 8 rounds a minute for 3 minutes. In sustained mode, it can fire 2 to 3 rounds a minute for 1 hour. The gun traverse is around 70 degrees to minus 2.5 degrees with 360 degrees of rotation. The night vision is offered as a standard in all the variants of K9. The K9 crew consists of 5 soldiers which is completely protected by all welded steel armor which can withstand 14.5 mm armor piercing shots, 152 mm shell fragments and anti-personnel mines as well as providing comprehensive nuclear, biological and chemical protection. The Hovitzer is powered by 8-cylinder water-cooled diesel engine built by MTU having power to weight ratio of 21 horsepower per ton. It gives Vajra an operational range of 480 km and speed of 67 km per hour. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. 
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.